Hey everybody, welcome to It Tastes Different Gaming Appetizers. What are we talking about this time? Well, the PlayStation Slim, the real Slim Shady, is coming out here soon. And the optical disk drive that you can get with the uh, digital edition requires internet connection to pair the disk drive to the PS5 console upon setup. So, the smaller PS5 design comes with one terabyte storage for the PS5 and the PS5 Digital Edition. Um, and the new model provides an optional add-on HD Blu-ray disk drive for the Digital Edition. So, right now you can get the PS5, the fat editions, or the bigger, the originals. Uh, they come in digital or disc version, right? And then uh, the slim ones are going to come in the same thing disc or di or a uh, 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 digital um, the disc drive if you buy the ps5 digital edition you can get the add-on uh, blu-ray disc drive it will be sold separately for 80 bucks here in the u.s okay and what they're going to do is as well is they're actually trading out the slims for um, the original uh, ps5s once the ps5 the current PS5 inventory uh, gets sold out. The slim version is the only version that's going to be out on the uh, retailers for sale. So, I mean, which that's fine, you know, whatever. Um, but it's also worth noting that the PS5 digital model has also gone up in price with the introduction of the slim version. The original PS5 digital edition costs $400. Whereas the slimmer PS5 digital edition costs $450. That means that the slimmer PS5 with a disk drive costs $50 more than the slimmer PS5 digital edition. Uh, more than the, than the, uh, yeah, more than the, the slimmer PS5 with the disk drive costs more than the one without. That's what I'm trying to say. Whew, that was a word salad. Um, a horizontal stand is included with the PS, the new PS5 model. Uh, a new vertical stand, compatible with all PS5 models, will be sold separately at thirty bucks. So ours originally, I mean, depending on how that is, um, for us that have the original PS5s, that might be a good thing to get because the horizontal stand, if you put your PlayStation sideways, because uh, my PlayStation is. Um, is sideways and it uh it's a little like you know you don't want to touch it because it will it'll slide on that thing like no another like shane's in the background his is is uh on its side and uh shane can probably attest to the fact that when you put it on the uh the uh stand that it comes with you just kind of like set it there and like okay now don't touch it because it you try to plug something in and it's like whoosh, like that <laughs> so the uh the the, the new stand might be good but the whole reason why, uh, you know, people are kind of, the internet's kind of uh, in a hissy fit about the disk drive having to have online connectivity is because of game preservation. So basically, it is weird. And it's, it's strange that first off that you would need internet connectivity to connect the disk drive to your PlayStation. First off, like if you go and buy a PlayStation, you know, I don't know how they're going to connect it, if it's a proprietary connection or if it's just USB or what, uh, but you connect it into your PlayStation uh, as an optional or optical uh, disk drive that's out external from the from the system. Uh, why does it need to be on the internet and and pair up with the servers in order for it to function, right? That seems odd to begin with. But, you know, uh, John uh, Lyman from Digital Foundry makes up a good point saying, you know, hardware connectivity shouldn't be determined by the server that may not always be available. And so his concern is, is sometime down the line, those, you know, it's more likely an authentication server that authenticates that you have the PS5 and the drive, right? Um, what if it goes down or Sony shuts it down or, you know, whatever the case may happen. And now you have this, maybe you have a bunch of PS5 uh, discs and you have the disk drive but it can't authenticate with the servers and now you now it doesn't work. Now one thing that we don't know is 
does it require authentication every time you connect the disk drive to the device, right? So what if you connect it and then you decide to disconnect it and you go to reconnect it back? Does it require authentication after the fact, right? Because I would imagine if it, and every time you turn on your PlayStation, does it require authentication, right? I, those questions we don't know yet. We don't know if it determines on when it's, if it's just connected on the first time or if it's every time after that, or every time you turn on your PlayStation, if you have that, it has to authenticate with it. Now, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing in, in regards to people not having internet because most people do, right? Most people have internet. Um, as long as they have clear information on there that internet connectivity is required to pair the device, as long as that's on the box and the information is knowledgeable f to consumers, then I don't see a problem with that. Even if you didn't have internet, you could connect to like McDonald's real quick, authenticate it, and then go home, right? If you needed to. <laughs> I don't know. Plug it in at McDonald's, hook it up, have yourself a Big Mac, play your PlayStation and head on home. <clears throat> right. So there's there's ways, right? You have friends and family that might have Internet. So there's ways you could get it done and and, and be able to connect. Right. In most cases, uh, not every case, but in most cases. So I'm not really befudding it for for the fact that it uh, needs Internet. It's weird, but, you know, it's fine. It's just that, you know, game preservation is the biggest thing. Right. If the servers go down in the future, these are questions that we just need answers to. What happens to the disk drive? Does it become a paperweight after that point? Because, and we don't know, again, if it needs to authenticate every time or every time it's disconnected and reconnected to the device. Because I'm imagining if you connect an external uh, optical drive to your PlayStation 5, you'll probably leave it connected, right, to, the, to, the, uh, to, your, to your PlayStation. But if you were to disconnect or move it around and disconnect the drive or something like that, does it need to authenticate again? Or every time you turn on the drive or on the PlayStation, does it need to authenticate every single time? I'm, that Those questions we don't know about. So also the price increase, right? I mean, seriously, I mean, that's, that's ridiculous, but it is Sony. So what can you expect? Um, Shane, what do you think about all this? What do you think about the disk drive needing internet connectivity and uh, the fact of game preservation and maybe also the price of the slim going up? I'm all for game preservation. Uh, I think the price going up is a lot of crap. And I think the internet requirement for the uh, connectivity is a load of crap as well i mean the, uh, it has to be and i'm just going to base this off of the phrasing of uh, of the image here it says internet connection required to pair disk drive and playstation 5 console upon setup okay account uh, upon setup account for playstation network and internet connection required to redeem vouchers vertical stands sold separately blah, blah, blah. that's just a little image that's kind of online right now if it is a continuous connection then they I mean granted 99% of games now require internet connection period so that that pisses me off in the long term anyway because, you know, what happens if you just, your internet's out? You can't play a game. I've, <laughs> you know my internet. I've had some crappy internet and it's, uh, it's gone out many a time. And then it's like, hey, I can't even play a bloody game. So, you know, that's a, that's just a lot of crap. Now, if it is an always on connectivity thing, then that's, that's disgusting and it's pathetic, but it's Sony. Sony will do anything for a buck and they will, screw anybody for a buck especially their fans plain and simple uh it's you know we've always said microsoft microsoft they don't have the best games but they're fairly decent to their gamers sony has the best games and they don't give a crap about their gamers period um the the price going up on the slim models is a load of crap too. I mean, we're this far along into the years since the release of the original PlayStation. Now's the time this stuff should have dropped 50 bucks, not added 50 bucks. Uh, there, I don't know what technology is new into, into the slim models uh, to make them worth the 
continuous full amount or raised prices. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. No, we have the original PlayStations, and I love my PlayStation. It's great. I mean, it's a, it's, it's just a great system. Uh, I love the new controller and all of that. I just, I absolutely love the thought at, uh, if I want to buy my son an, a PlayStation Five, that I'm either a gonna buy uh, the slim version, which is the regular price of five hundred bucks, or I buy the digital version, which is. 450 bucks. But if I'm lucky, I just go find the original models at a cheaper price once these are released. Probably won't happen because scumbag scalpers will scoop them all up and say, hey, you know, if you want them, come get them. But uh, always on connectivity or even just the pairing thing makes no sense to me because. I don't see how, because you. it's not like it's going to be playing Bluetooth or anything. It's not going to be a wireless setup. It's got to be connected, you know, hardwired. So why do you have to have that? I mean, your PlayStation is 99% of the time connected to the internet anyways. So it's, it's just a nonsensical approach. Uh, I think it, I, I don't know everything about it yet, but I guarantee it's just about DRM. Uh, it's just about uh, trying to ensure that, you know, they're not getting missing out on any dollars, plain and simple. Uh, so I think it's a scumbag move. I think I think the digital version of this is uh, being 50 bucks higher is a scumbag move. And uh, always online is a scumbag move. But that's for anybody. So. A lot of scumbagginess. Yeah, true. I mean. I think that uh, if I were to guess, I would say the authentication of the disk drive is so that way you don't you can't use. I'm going to guess that they don't have a pri proprietary connection for the optical drive, so it might just be USB. So in order to get around the fact that anybody could use any Ultra Blu-ray disk drive, right? Because all it's doing is just reading the disk. Then, in order to make it proprietary, it has to pair in and make sure that the drive you've connected is a Sony certified, you know, one that they sold, right? Uh, to that's the only thing I could think of, right? Um, piracy, possibly, but mainly like authenticating with them that you know we don't know what type of connection it has, so it might have a proprietary uh, connector. But if it just has a regular USB connector, that means that any, you could use any, you know, uh, ultra Blu-ray DVD drive, right? I mean, 50 bucks for one is not that expensive. I'm not priced those drives because I haven't had, need, had a need for a disk drive in a long, long time. But, uh, you know, if you already had one laying around, let's say, and it was an external disk drive, you know, you could just plug it in, pop it in, and you don't have to spend 50 bucks. but this and this is just clearly guessing, right? We haven't seen the connection for that. We don't know what the authentication for it is. Um, and they have kind of a picture of it. It looks like it snaps in. I'm not sure. I, they're not showing wires or anything like that. I don't know if it, what type of connector it has to the to the system. Um, in order to connect it to the to the to the uh, PlayStation, so when we get more information and more like screenshots or pictures of the actual device itself, then maybe we can get a, a better idea of how it connects. But that's the only thing I could think of the reason why, um, you know, that way Sony gets their money for their drive, right? And that you, the only option you have for a disc drive is not like you can't just buy a um, you know, off the market drive, you have to like buy one of theirs. It's either them or nothing. Nerf or nothing. <laughs> I wonder, uh, just, you know, just peeking through these uh, images, I wonder if the PlayStation disc version, slim disc version, is the actually the same damn model as the PlayStation discless digital version. Except for 
because the the drive just clips in somehow right. it connects in or it clips in and then you put the cover over it mm-hmm. that matches the playstation i wonder if it's the exact same thing inside it's just a different cover over the top that oh yeah that you, i, I bet that you it just is. can't so you should be in theory just you know guessing obviously you should be in theory be able to just take the damn thing out yeah it's just uh so you're Damn, you're basically sorry. buying it the slim or the the disc the version digital ha- is just with the disc drive already connected the, the did yeah the digital disc uh detachable the, the, disc the drive is already disc connected. version of the slim is more than likely just the digital version with the disc drive already connected and slapped in there and probably yeah. a different cover on the bottom right there's probably a, a separation between that cover and the rest of the uh the white plastic but on yeah. the disc version, it's probably all one piece. So it piece. looks, you know, looks like one yeah. piece. But yeah, I bet you it is the connected drive, uh, that same drive that probably authenticates, right? And it probably authenticates mm-hmm. in the background, so you wouldn't know. Um, I, and I would assume that the PlayStation 5s now, the disc versions that we have, um, don't authenticate. You know, I mean, because I would assume if it authenticated mm-hmm. today that that would that would be raised already right if that was a thing probably yeah yeah because especially if they're going to say that this external drive has to authenticate which makes me wonder too do the new slim disc versions have to authenticate if these don't like if the 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 ones we have now if they don't authenticate the disc drive even though they are internally installed does it still have to do that all right, does this does the slim ones now authenticate with back to the server, which they could do with the the old ones too, right? Just probably a, a no, oh, yeah, yeah. A, a patch or something to the to the console that makes it do that, right? And they could take this out too, so they could reverse decision on this and decide we don't want to do that, um, and, and just take it out, right, to where it doesn't have to authenticate. It probably yeah. would, right, because you would have to get the update for it to take it out of there. But once you've done it the first time. It wouldn't do it after the fact. But again, we don't know that. We don't know if it even now, if it has to authenticate past the first swipe, right? Um, if it's the yeah. same drive, I'm assuming it's got a serial number attached, which attaches it to your account. So they know that. So it shouldn't have to re-authenticate, but it may have to. I don't know. We would have to know more information about it, but. Yep. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll find out, I guess. Uh, I don't remember. Was there a release date on these already? Um, I know it's pretty soon. I don't know. Oh, November. Yeah, in November. Yeah. So, yeah. Coming out next so, yeah, month. Here, yep, here soon. We'll find out more. But uh, a lot of scumbagging is coming from Sony, as per usual. So, but yeah, and, they give me good games. Yeah. So, the PlayStation 5, uh, real quick, uh, it's uh, the slim version with the disk drive is 500 bucks, which is the normal price for PlayStation. But the digital version is four hundred and fifty dollars, um, which is fifty dollars more, and that's I think that's without the drive. So if you bought the drive, which is fifty more dollars, I believe I said was the, the drive, drive is seventy or seventy dollars. Yeah, so that's more expensive. Uh, I'm than sorry, the, it's actually seventy nine ninety nine. So it's eighty bucks. So that's more expensive than, um. Mm-hmm buying just the disc version so if you're thinking yeah. about getting a disc and, and playing disc games at some point with your playstation if you pick up one of these slims just get the disc version right which is kind of like the is kind of the case now with playstation 5s because it's really hard to find a digital edition of the playstation 5 currently yeah i don't know i've noticed that too you can find the disc drives yeah. on the shelves but you can't find the digital so i don't know if it's because they're selling or uh, Sony hasn't produced as many due to the slims coming. So. I, th- I think overall Sony didn't produce as many of those as they did the disc version. Hmm. Yeah. I think. I guess we'll not find that they out. haven't been out there, but I mean, like when I went to go buy yeah. one, and when I've seen them in stores now, they are always the disc version. Yeah. I don't think I've. I don't even know if I've ever seen a digital version in the store. I want to say I have, but I couldn't promise you if I'm correct. Yeah. Mm. So, so that might be the same but, way with these slims. Who knows? But it may not. You may see more digital versions than you do disc drive versions. 
because it is I more hope, expensive. I overall. hope I don't see either because that means I'm probably picking one up. <laughs> and I want to. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's, I don't think there's really any, you know, it's probably more efficient in, in uh, thermals maybe and stuff like that, but there's no performance uh, updates to these, to these products. They don't perform any better or anything like that. Maybe some efficiency, right? But you're not really going to tell a difference, but just more yeah. efficiency on the power and, and uh, CPU thresholds and stuff like that, maybe more efficient. Um, but, you know, if you were to pop one, play one side by side, you probably wouldn't notice a difference. No, it's not like they're pro versions or anything right. like that. So. They didn't do any updates. They just made a slimmer model, which, yeah, that's cool. I mean, because the... The original PlayStation, it's a big boy. It's a big oh, boy. It's, it's chunky. It's <laughs> the definitely chunky. 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 <laughs> All right. You got anything else you want to say on this? Uh, Nope. I'm good. All right. Well, let us know down in the comments below. Are you picking up a PlayStation 5 Slim? And what do you think of the external hard drive needing internet connection? Again, we're not saying internet connections. I mean, because we've, you know, we've talked about this before. Lots of people have internet connection. Uh, it sucks for you know to have to authenticate with that, but we can't. A lot of things are that set up that way, so we can't like point fingers at Sony because they're wanting you to authenticate with with the with the uh, uh, disc drive, right? Because a lot of games are only online anymore, and a lot of game a lot of things require authentication and things like that. It's just strange for a disc drive to require something like that. And again, we don't know all the specifics of it. But what do you think down in the comments below? And are you picking up a Slim? And if so, which version? You going with the discless or the disc version? I would say, again, I'd probably just go with the disc version. Spend that extra 50 bucks and get the disc version. Um, and I would say that now, right? If you're one of the, the original PS5s between the digital and the disc version, I would just say get the disc version. It's You never know when you might come across the PlayStation 5 disc, even if you're expecting to buy all digital and you're like, man, I wish I had a disc drive to pop this into. So, you know, just pick one of those up. It's worth the extra money. But anyway, let us know down in the comments below. Other than that, thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not already, help us out. Do us a favor. Hit the subscribe button. No authentication needed. Just your finger to click on the subscribe button so we can authenticate you. And other than that, have a good one. See you next time. See ya. Thank you.